Hi, welcome to the Titus Ventures channel. And in this video, I'm gonna show how to read and write to a Google Sheets document from a Node server. So to start off, I'm going through the documentation on the Google Sheets for Developer website at developers.google.com. I'll leave the link in the description below so that you can also follow along. So the first thing to do is to have Node and NPM installed. And then I would have to create a project on the Google Cloud Platform and enable the Google Sheets API. So I've already done that on the Google Cloud Console. I have a project called TV Back, and in the APIs, I'm gonna click Enable APIs and Services. I'm gonna search for Google Sheets. And then it says, I already have it enabled, but if you don't have it enabled, there'll be an Enable button that you can click. All right. So going back to the prerequisites, I would have to authorize credentials for an application. And I'm referring to the create credentials tutorial to do that. So the credential type that I want to create is the OAuth client ID. And that will spit out a credentials.json that I will put in my directory where the node script is going to run. It's not the service count one. I tried that and it's not the, it's not the API key credential one either. It is the OAuth client ID credentials. So I followed the web application one and I'll repeat that right now. So I'll go to the Google Cloud Console and I'll go to APIs and Services and Credentials. I already have one here from a previous project. So I'm gonna create a new one and create an OAuth client ID. For the application type, I'm going to select web application. And then for the authorized redirect URLs, this is what is necessary to, to get a code to authorize the application to run. Um, I'll set my homepage, but you will have to set a URI that you have control of. Click create. So once that's done, what I need to do is download the OAuth client. And so this one will have a client ID and a client secret. And what I'll select to do is download JSON. I've downloaded to a directory where I'm going to run my node script. So once that's done, then I'll go back to the Node.js startup tutorial. And I'm assuming that I already have a Google account. So then I have to install the um, Google API if I have not already done so. I already ran npm install for that package. And then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just copy all this code. This code is just to read from a Google Sheets. I'll show how to write to a Google Sheets in a little bit. So I'm gonna copy everything and then paste it in my code editor. All right. Now that I have the authorization JSON file in this directory of where this file lives, and I have copied and pasted the code from Google. I'm gonna try and run it to see what happens. All right, so right off the bat, I'm getting an, an error where it says it cannot destructure property client secret of client of credentials.installed. So I think the boilerplate code does have some issues in it. Um, and I got around by looking at the JSON file that was downloaded. So this is the JSON file opened and there is no key that is called installed. So I have to change it to web as it is designated in the JSON file. So I'm gonna save and then I'm going to run it again. And now it says authorize this app by visiting this URL. So what I'm gonna do is copy and paste this into my browser. I'm gonna choose the Google account that I want to authorize. And then if this is my first time authorizing, it's gonna say Google hasn't verified this app. Um, if this is just for development purposes, this doesn't need to be verified because you're doing this yourself. So um, I'll just click into continue and then continue again. So that will bring me to my web page, but in the URL is where the code is returned. So if you can see here, there is a parameter here that is defined by code. Everything right of the equal sign 
of that parameter I'm going to copy and then I'm going to go back to my terminal and then it says enter the code from the page here. I'll right click to paste. So another issue that I've ran into is that the code that is returned here it's giving me instead of a backslash it would give a percentage to f character string. I had to replace that percentage sign to f character string with the backslash. So here it's provided the backslash correctly, but if it didn't for you, um, then you have to replace it with the backslash. So if I press enter, then it says token stored to token.json. Basically it created a file that allowed uh, my authorization. And then it went ahead and read some data from a example Google Sheets file that Google has made. So it's basically a file that has a student's name and major and it's listed here. So that's how you can read data from a Google Sheets file using the Node.js tutorial on straight from the um, Google Sheets for developers website. All right, now let's take a look at how I can write to a Google Sheets file. So using my code, what I'm going to do first is change this read only to take that away. So delete read only. And then so the scope of this script is going to basically be able to read and write from Google Sheets using their API. So I'm going to save that. And then the code that I'm going to borrow is from dailydevtips.com in their writing to a Google Sheets spreadsheet blog post. And the function that I'm going to take is the write data function. So I'm just going to copy all this code. And then just append it to my index.js file. All right, now that I have that function in here, I can set that to be run in the script. So instead of list majors, I'm going to run write data. So the last thing I have to do for this to work is to update the Google spreadsheet ID. So the ID that I use must be a Google spreadsheet that I own from the account that I authorized the web app to, to use. So I'm just going to create a new spreadsheet from that account. I'm just going to name it test and then copy and paste the Google Sheets ID into my code. So in the spreadsheet ID parameter, I'm going to paste it. I'm going to update this range variable to sheet one because that's the sheet that is present in my document. All right, so what this function is going to do is just going to look at sheet one and then append some data to, to the A1 range. And those values is this dummy array right here. Now, because I've changed the permissions or changed the scope to not only use read only, but also to read and write, I have to, again, authorize the, um, authorize the app for the, the Google account. So I'm going to remove the token file and then rerun my script. It's going to ask me to do the authorization thing again. And you can see that the permissions has been updated. It says to see, edit, create, and delete all your Google spreadsheets, not only just read. Okay, so click continue. And then I'm again going to copy and paste that code in the URL. All right, now that I've run the code, the token was stored, and then the six cells were updated in the range sheet one, A1 to F1. So if I go to my spreadsheet that I've created, I can see that the row was appended here. All right, so that's how to read and write to a Google Sheets spreadsheet from a local environment. And I did so just by basically following two tutorials, one from the Google Sheets developer page and then one from dailydevtips.com. And that's all for this video. Let me know if it helped you in the comments below and let me know if you ran into any problems. Thanks for watching.